Hey YouTube, so sorry it's been so long since I've been back. I've been so busy getting used to teaching my new fourth graders. I guess they're not really even new anymore. Um, I've been teaching them since August, but um, it's been just an amazing experience. I absolutely love it. Um, it's come with a lot of challenge, um, a lot of heartache, but also so much just love and happiness and these kids bring me joy every single day and I cannot wait to start my new vlog series. This is just a little teaser video for you to let you know that I'm back and I am ready to commit now. So I have a lot of grading to do today. Um, as you can see, this first one here is my kids at definitions, vocabulary for social studies. We're going over the Midwest right now and they'll have a test on that on Friday. And then over here are their class notes that I had them take um, over our space unit. And then we're going over text structures. So this is one of the chronological order worksheets that we did. I got it from Teachers Pay Teachers and I'll link it in the description. Here's another one. This is from the same seller. I love these because they have these graphic organizers and that really helps fourth graders to kind of map out order. And then another text structure we went over was problem and solution. And so same seller again, I just loved these products. I think that um, my kids really liked them too. They found them really fun. Sorry about that. <laughs> and you can see on the back there's um, another graphic organizer and it just really worked well for my kids. I definitely recommend this for fourth grade text structures if that's something that you're going over now or maybe in the future. And I'll link it in the description box. So I thought I'd show you guys these cute little stamps that I use. I got these from Hobby Lobby a while back. Um, I used to use stickers, but those get really expensive whenever you use them all the time. And these are extremely convenient because they last forever. So I thought I'd just show you these and show you kind of the ones that I have. Okay, so they look like this. This is the little A plus one for my 100s. And then this is a cute little star. And then this one, says super. I like to use this one for like homework or like completion activities. And then this cute little smiley face. I always do that one in pink. I don't know why. And then this one, I think it says great work. My camera is not focusing. Oh, there it is. Yep. Great work. And then the next one is this cute little, uh, I think it says good job. Yeah, good job. And yeah, so I got these at Hobby Lobby. I love them. And then I also got these ink like palettes from there. And I love them too. I'm not really sure if I got them all in like one container or if I picked them individually. I can't remember honestly. But regardless, they're great. Um, I'm thinking that since this is my first like real actual blog or vlog, excuse me, uh, that I should do a little giveaway. So if you subscribe and then comment on this video, um, just comment something positive, something you like about the video or just, you know, whatever you teach or anything, um, I will put your name into a drawing and I will pick someone randomly. Okay, so is it just me or do other people's students just like perpetually forget to put their name on their homework as well? Because I'm getting really annoyed by it and I'm starting to wonder if maybe I should take points off for not putting your name on your paper. I feel like that's kind of mean, but at the same time, they have to learn. So please let me know in the comments what you do about that because I'm getting super frustrated. This is like the 10th paper I've graded tonight that doesn't have a name on it. Yeah, it's annoying. Thank you.
So my plan for now is to vlog weekly. I will be doing Monday through Friday and then posting videos the following Monday, I'm thinking. It may change, but I think that's what I'm going to do. That way you have something to look forward to every Monday. Um, I will link any of the products that I mention, uh, as many of them as I can, in the uh, description box below. If you will do me a favor, please subscribe to my channel. That helps this video to reach other teachers. It helps this video to reach other people who are interested in teaching or education. Um, it helps my channel. And please just give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment and let me know what you think. And also, please seriously give me your suggestions for kids who forget to put their names on their papers because, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm at a loss. So, see you soon.